Hello everyone, today we're going to be talking about for loops. So a loop allows you to iterate over items in say a vector or a matrix. Uh, I'll show you some examples. We'll start with uh, looping through a vector, so looping through a vector. Okay, so let's set the vector up first, so we're going to call it um, loop vector. I'm going to set it as 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Okay, I'm going to run that line. Okay, that's that's returned in the values window in your environment. So now um, I can do a loop in two different ways. Um, one by creating a temporary variable using the in keyword and then one looking at the length of the, the actual um, vector. So first I'll do it by using the in keyword, so we'll use for for each loop item in um, loop vec. And then you open your uh, curly braces again and I'm just going to print out the result to the um, of the loop item. So what it basically says is, for each of one of those, print it out to the console window. So 10, 20, 30, 40. We'll run that line. Okay. So that iterated through every item in my vector, um, and then returned each one on each line. You can also do the same, achieve the same result by using this method. We'll call it loop item two in, and then we can say one to the length of my loop vec. And close curly braces. Obviously, this is more that's a simpler command than the one I've just displayed here. But then we can go print, and then what we're going to have to do is loop vec and pass an index to each loop item. To so that basically says for each loop item, so for each item, each item in one, so where to start, to the length, one, two, three, four, five, six, one to six, so that's an in, that's basically a slice of it. Print my loop vec, and then I'm indexing each loop item, and it will just pass it through. Each loop item will be returned and passed separately, so it will go 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. Yep, the same thing's been achieved there. So that's two different methods. You can use a for loop to loop over a vector. In the warm-up modules, we learned how to loop over um, how to create lists. So this time we're going to do looping over lists. So let's do my my list. Create a variable and list of um, 20, 40, 60, 880, oops, 8100. Create that list and then we can go for, let's call it i this time, just the iterator in my list. And then I'm going to just print out again. I'm going to this time print out the i value. That gives you each list item the same way as previously. The next example we're going to use looping over a matrix. Create the matrix first of all, my matrix. 
we'll make it a matrix of um, 1 to 50 rows 1 to 50 items sorry and we're going to specify the number of rows equal to 4 oh sorry five create five rows and then we're just going to see what that does pass it to the console window apologies if my voice sounds a bit scratchy I've got a bit of a cold today okay so we've got our matrix there set up now what I'm going to do is loop through it so for matrix we could call it map number this is the same value as I in my matrix and then we're going to print out mat number ok run that and it will print each one on a separate line that's what's happened a lot just go through that again so it goes through each, each um, column bit by bit and prints them on their own unique line. We could also do something like print matrix number, we could then assign some kind of operation to it so it changes the original number, well it doesn't change the original number but it will return a different value. Print matrix number to the power of 2. So yeah, it's basically done the same thing but it's raised everything to the power of 2. We'll keep it simple for now with the matrix example again we could use as it prints out one individual in each line we could also use a nested loop so two loops together so we're going to say for row in one to the number of rows in my matrix the one that we just created I'm going to open curly braces after this and then we're going to start another for statement col in 1 to n col my matrix open curly braces again so you should have two opening and two closing braces in a nested loop it always goes inside the second command so all you basically parameters are passed here. So what we're going to do is print out um, the row and col of the matrix, my matrix, my matrix, row and col. Okay, so that's changed it slightly. Instead of, if we go back to the original example, instead of going downwards, it's going doing this first, then that, then that, then that. As you can see, 1, 6, 11, 16, 21. 1, 6, 11, 16, 21, 26. And when it gets to 46, it will start on the next line 46 so 2 7 12 2 7 12 so yeah that, that change that's a way that you can use a nested loop to change the results we could then expand that and use some kind of um, some kind of prompt to return could basically append them together. So what we're going to do is say print paste. I'm going to extend this now. Row is equal to, and then we're going to go the row value, and then we're going to go and column is equal to and then we're going to go col and then see what that does 
Oops. What's that doing? Actually, need two closing quote. That's in two closing parentheses there. That's what it is. So it gives you the, and then I'm just going to say actually there, the value and the value is is, and then comma. So what it's doing is for each one. It's showing where the so row is one, column is oh I've spelled column wrong. Right, do that again. Row is equal to one and column is equal to one and the value is, is one. And then it will do it for each one. Row is one, column two, row is one, column three, like like we've just said previously. So it's just going through and giving us a text description of what each one is. Okay guys, that's how you can use for loops. You can do a lot more advanced things like um, when it comes to machine learning, altering some of the parameters around like k-means clustering. You can say, give me five clusters, give me 10 clusters, that kind of thing. And iterate through and see what that does to your sensitivity and your statistical sensitivity. We'll get onto that in later tutorials. For now, we're just sticking to the basics, but hope you enjoy that, guys. Please subscribe. Thanks.